So, Sean, where do you normally go to catch your World Cup matches? Uh, I normally watch at the pub. In fact, my, me and my brother subscribe to the World Cup package at home, but I haven't really made use of that just yet. I mean, I enjoy cheering on my favourite team with my friends. Wow, so where's your favourite watering hole to hang out then to catch all your World Cup matches? Ah, uh, it's at my regular pub at this place at Sia Street called Lockstock. And how about you, Desiree? Where do you catch all your World Cup matches? Well, it depends. I either watch them online, at pubs, or in the office. And so far, I think the office is the best place. Mm. Flat screen TVs, air condition comfort, and great sound. Well, you're the only one I know who stays in the office just to watch football. Why not? It's comfortable and best of all, it's free. Why do you think it's more exciting to watch them in pubs and kopitiams? I mean, definitely for the whole atmosphere, like, take this storm story for example. World Cup crowd at McDonald's so large, staff have to shift the napkin counter. The crowd of soccer mad customers at that McDonald's outlet was so huge that the staff there had to move the napkin counter and the bin just to make way for them. Hmm, I can see why. The new customers coming in would have no space to walk if they wanted to join in and watch the World Cup too. Well, Stomper Azar, who sent in the contribution, seems to agree with you, Desiree. He said, although we can celebrate the World Cup fever, but somehow it's inconsiderate to be blocking the passageway and preventing people from walking. Not to mention getting their midnight McDonald's fix. One of the Stompers, um, Coke Cops since 1980 commented in response to the crowd of soccer fanatics in McDonald's. Happy to see so many people out there. This show's 70 bucks is indeed unreasonable. Well, these guys not only didn't have to pay the $70, they got more than a coffee's worth. Check out this entry from Stomper Die Hard Fan. A crowd of about 100 had come to watch the Algeria-Slovenia match at a coffee shop near Block 276, Bukit Bato East Avenue 4 on a Sunday night. While the crowd was cheering for the players, the Stomper spotted this young girl busily typing away on a laptop. Occasionally, she stopped to sit on a glass of Tiger beer, scan the giant screen for the latest match outcome. He says, What caught my attention was her outfit, for she was dressed in a black dress, mini shorts, bare shoulders, and attracted a few more stares than some of the male spectators. Mm. Listen to this description. Her flowing chestnut hair and six earrings on each ear prompted some onlookers to pass some unsavoury remarks. But she was oblivious to the comments. Goodness, keep your eyes on the match, guys. Hey, come on, in their defence, I would be curious too. I mean, like, what is a girl who looks and dress like that doing in a coffee shop? Mm. Of all places. Especially one where everyone is there to watch the match. But she was doing her own thing on her laptop. Mm, what's wrong? Maybe she usually does her work there while enjoying a drink. And maybe these guys only descended on her regular hangout join because of the World Cup. Stomper Jude Paul has this advice for you and Stomper Die Hard fan. Everyone else is watching TV except you. You are busy watching the girl. Since you are keen, show some courage and approach her. Strike, Strike while the iron is hot. Okay, okay, yeah, you got a point. Uh, Stomper Gunner Zeno seems to agree. Why can't we use a notebook and a kopitiam? Video, exactly! Right? Yeah, still on World Cup distractions, did this bus driver make a mistake and end up on the wrong route because he was up late watching World Cup? Hmm, hmm. I have no idea what you mean. 